Let's start with some Velveeta cheese. And all around that cheese, we're gonna add a full box of elbow macaroni. So I'm just pouring in four cups of heavy cream. We're also going to need one cup of water. Now to season this, we're going to start with a little bit of salt. We're also going to need some black pepper. And for a little bit of flavor, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of paprika, as well as a teaspoon of oregano. And last but not least, a teaspoon of dried basil. Now I'm just gonna give this a little mix, just get those spices all in there, get them mixed in with that liquid. Now it's time to add in some freshly shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm also going to add in some grated marble cheddar cheese. Okay, before we pop this in the oven, I'm just gonna take a full stick of butter that I've cut up into little cubes, and I'm just gonna place that right on top of the cheese. Okay, this is ready to go into the oven now, and I've gone ahead and preheated it to 375, and we're gonna bake this for 35 to 40 minutes until all that cheese gets nice and melted. Okay, while our macaroni is finishing up in the oven, I'm gonna take some diced red onions and add them to a hot skillet. I'm also gonna add in some diced bell peppers. Now we just need to cook these until we get a little bit of color on there. I spot a little green piece in there. A little zucchini going there. A little zoo greeny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our veggies are looking good. Now I'm gonna grate in a few cloves of garlic. So now I'm gonna take one pound of ground beef. And we're just gonna add that in there. And we're gonna cook this for maybe five more minutes. Okay, now it's time to season our beef and veggies. I'm just using a little bit of salt some chili powder, some paprika as well, and last but not least, some dried parsley. Give that a little mix through. Okay, time to take out our mac and cheese. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, it's nice and bubbly. All right, now we need to mix this. Start with the middle here. Get that cheese broken up a little bit. It does look like a lot of liquid, but we are gonna be putting this back into the oven again. All right, there we go, all mixed in. Got all that cheese in there. Okay, now we're gonna take that beef that we cooked earlier. And we're just gonna add that all in there. Now we're gonna mix that beef in with the mac and cheese. This looks so good. Right? We're not done yet. We still have a couple more steps, but I can't wait for you to try this. This is gonna be so good. There we go, let's smooth that out a little bit. Okay, now to top everything off, I'm just gonna take some shredded cheddar cheese. And this is going back in the oven, right? Yes, just for a couple of minutes on broil. And for the finishing touches, I'm just gonna sprinkle on some dried parsley. Okay, so like I was saying, we need to put this back in the oven on broil. And we're just gonna cook it until all that cheese gets nice and melted. Our pasta should be done now. Not sure if you're ready for this. Let's see it. Here we go. Wow. Wow, that looks so yummy. Look at that. That's perfect. All right, let's dig in. Get a nice big scoop of that. Ooh, that looks so yummy. Pop that over here. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Dig right in. <laughs> Might be hot. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That is so delicious. 